Dear friends in Jesus Christ, today we are in the sixth Sunday of Easter. In the first reading, we heard the account of the Apostolic Conference at Jerusalem. The issue was, is the circumcision necessary for baptism or not? The conclusion was that the circumcision was not necessary for baptism, but they have to follow certain things such as abstaining from the food, sacrificed to the idols, etc. Starting from here, the church has witnessed lots and lots of hardships and difficulties. But we could see the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit throughout the history of the church and its guidance. Jesus in today's gospel tells that Father will send Holy Spirit in his name and will reveal things for us. Jesus wanted to reveal and guide us, but the humanity was not ready to understand everything in one moment. So the Holy Spirit reveals things in an appropriate time in the history. In the Gospel of today from St. John, Jesus announces that he will be going to his Father and the Father will send Holy Spirit in his name. Also says, whoever loves me will keep my word. We must note here that Jesus places love as foundation for Christians. We understand this in two ways. First, Jesus tells us to keep love as our motivation to follow Christ, to obey Christ. Jesus did not say, if someone respects me, will keep my word. He did not say, if someone wants my blessings, he will keep my word. No, but he said, whoever loves me will keep my word. So for Jesus, following him and following his word must come out of love. Second, Jesus is telling us that love is a commitment, not a feeling or an emotion. It is a commitment to follow him. It is a commitment to live like him. It is a commitment to love like him. With this understanding, the phrase, whoever loves me will keep my word, gives more meaning. Finally, Jesus says that he will give us a peace that the world cannot give. We think that peace is an absence of violence. No, it is not. Peace is more than the absence of violence. Peace is the presence of justice. Justice is having a right relationship with God, a right relationship with others, a right relationship with nature and a right relationship with oneself. Holy Spirit helps us to have this right and balanced relationship. And this right and balanced relationship with God, with others, with nature and with oneself is a perfect peace. Dear friends, what motivates us to be a Christian today? Jesus tells us that he came to give peace. Have you experienced that peace? What is your concept of peace? And where do you search for that peace? How do you give peace to others? God bless you all. Amen.